What's going on guys, you're with Hardy Tech and welcome to Storytime, a weekly, not weekly thing where we will have grinding in the bathroom, ba background, not bathroom, and we talk about your guys' horrible lives. So, before we get to that, I want to talk about White Platinum really quick because this is kind of important. In the last video, I had you guys vote on which Pokemon would be my sixth party member, and it was a very close race between just two Pokemon who combined took up about 50% of the votes, and that was Turtwig and Giratina. And Turtwig just barely pulled it out with about 20 more votes than Giratina, and Golbat had one vote. So, obviously you guys are really rallying behind Golbat. <laughs> Anyways, um, I decided to level everybody up to 69, because, you know, why not? Which took about three and a half hours of in-game, like, playing time, like, actually recording. And actually took about, like, seven hours because I kept pausing, you know, talk on Skype or text or whatever. So, that was pretty much what I spent all day yesterday doing. And as if it couldn't get any worse, about half of the grinding was accidentally deleted. So, you guys have about an hour and a half of grinding, which is going to be sped up. And I now have a cat on my lap. Bandit, will you please move? I'm trying to do a video. I'm trying to entertain. Okay, just get your tail out of my mouth. Seriously, this is not cool. Anyways, let's get on with the stories. I actually don't know what stories I'm going to be reading, so we're just going to be spontaneously picking some from my list. Anyways, I was staying at my grandparents' house in the country with my uncle and cousin. We just had McDonald's for dinner, and my oldest cousin and I decided it would be a great idea to take a bath together. Because we're just kids, and, you know, kids can get away with doing that stuff. You know, adults can get away with doing it too, it's just... I don't think they're actually taking it for the bath. Anyways... So the two of us are just sitting there, chilling in the tub and throwing bubbles at each other, until my uncle and two younger cousins walked in on us. We're girls, by the way. So the three of them, they started peeing in the same toilet. I have no idea why. It made both my cousin and I hang our heads in horror, and as soon as they were done, we were asked, You girls want to turn? Either way, it was awkward, and it was probably the night I first found out that dudes stand to pee. Now whenever I see either of my male cousins, I can only remember that night 11 years ago, and I start to laugh. You know what would be even better? Now that it's like 11 years later, you should probably remind them how they might have like, small members, and just make their lives hell. Just like, you pee in front of me, I'm gonna torture you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> or, that would actually probably make it even more awkward. Uh, let's just never mention your cousin's penises, and, um, yeah, anyways. Uh, next story. <laughs> I have a very weird neighbor. He got into porn, like, stuff at a very young age. His parents never let him go online. He can only play Minecraft on a computer from what I know. He's always stuck outside and his parents think he is weak. Trust me, he is. One day, Nick, that's what I call him, walks up to me and tries to pull out his dick. Nick, dick, oh, I see what you did there. He started chasing me around so he could show me it. He thought doing this would make him famous. I outran him and went into my house. I stayed in my room for about an hour, and when I looked out the window, I saw him in his backyard with a stick, a, whacking a rope thinking it was a monster. <laughs> and that was the time my neighbor tried to become a porn actor with me. Sorry it was short. That is all I can remember. Oh, come on. Don't judge him by his size. He's just a kid. I'm sure it'll get bigger. Don't apologize because it was too small. It's it's okay. Um, anyways, the... I actually don't know what time we're at because I can't see my recorder at the moment, but we're just going to do maybe two more stories. So, when I was 10, I was at a water park with my best friend and his friend. We went to the wave pool when a strange man was throwing hamburgers into the pool. Everyone stares at him and he continues to throw hamburgers until my friend tells him to stop. And then he makes a weird grin and throws a hamburger in my friend's face and passes out. It was like, that is a hard hamburger. <laughs> then the medics and police arrive and save my friend and try to hunt down the man when they find him at the top of the serpent, aka the biggest slide at the water park. The police rush up, uh, I lost my place, the police rush up the steps when the man quickly pushes a fat lady into the slide then jumps in, him, jumps in himself. He flies out the end of the slide holding onto the fat lady with his face in her butt. Then the police get him and arrest him. <laughs> Hope you put this story in the grinding montage. Well, hopefully this, me putting this story in the montage will make your day a little better than your friend's was that day, cause wow, that was, really weird anyways i believe i have one more story that we're going to tell today so hey hardy i'd like to start off by hopefully not depressing anyone but yes this place this piece of information is crucial to my story my parents are divorced and my mom was remarried when i was eight and i call my stepfather dad 
Anyways, on with the story. So I was 10 years of age and in year 6. Life was good until 3 weeks before I finished school when we had to worry about sex education. I thought I could handle it and until the last day I was right, but then everything changed. We were having a discussion about sex like, like a class of 10 year olds do when the teacher came in and started lecturing us about the wrong things. I then decided for no apparent reason to ask my teacher if she had had sex. I'd like to also point out that looking back on it, my teacher was pretty hot. She then replied with, WHAT DID YOU ASK ME?! And I was all like, what, I asked my mom and dad? To which everyone started laughing, even the teacher. Then after five minutes of embarrassment, my teacher told me she had had sex, winked at me, and then left to go get a brew. Wait, in the middle of class, she just like leaves to go get drunk? That's awesome. I would probably do that if you were my student too. I'd be like, you know what? Screw this. I was also I was known as the adopted one for the rest of my life until I got to high school. So six weeks later, but it still hurt a little inside. Anyways, the end. Love your face. Oh, thank you. I love my face too. Anyways, that is story time, guys. Thank you for watching. Later on today, we will be taking on the entire Elite Four, assuming we actually don't immediately die which I doubt, in light platinum, so that will be up this evening, as in tonight, as in be excited. Anyways, thank you for watching, make sure to send in more stories by PMing me on YouTube, and maybe if they're good, they'll be used in a future video, so until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo-Yo, peace!